GG, slightly different result to uh, last week, obviously. 6-3 um, loss to uh, James Wade. Seemed to be that you, your first start was always that little bit high and you just couldn't really adjust to, to hit the trebles? Yeah, I, look, I, I think I hit too many hundreds and, and not enough 140s, like for James. James is just always like really, really good on those 140s. So I, I, just, I just wasn't good enough tonight. Simple as that. Well, James is known for being very, very doggy and, and, and hitting the big checkouts. And uh, the latter half of the game certainly proved uh, more like the James Wayne of old. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like he, I think James is the most consistent between one between 80 and 120, I think, on the whole tour. I think James is the best at those 80 to 120 checkouts with the three darts in the hand. And I think he showed that in that latter half of that game. I went. I went three two up. I thought I was. Um, I thought I was in the match, and things changed, mate. James was just too good. Simple. Well, that's the the wonderful thing about darts, and, and also the the bugbear of darts is one minute you're the king, and the next you're wandering around serving the king. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Early on, we both didn't play as well as what we could as well. So, to be fair, when I was three two up, I probably shouldn't have been. And then when he won the match 6-3, it probably shouldn't have been that result either. It probably should have been 6-4, 6-5. But like you said, that's darts, mate. The, the, the crowd, um, given that you are a Queenslander, it's a New South Wales crowd, they did get behind you. Yeah, yeah. When I when I hit the lead, um, I felt the crowd behind, right behind me. Um, probably not as much as obviously last week, um, being mm. in Queensland. They were like right behind me when I played Michael Smith. But um, no, I can't fault the crowd. They were really, really good tonight. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to be seeing you tomorrow night, apart from in the crowd. Um, but uh, we wish you all the best over in uh, in Hamilton and uh, for the Oceanics as well. Yeah, we, we go again next week. And um, I've made the decision to stay um, and play the Oceanic Masters um, because I'm eligible to play in it. So I'll try and qualify for the Worlds, obviously, that way. So I um, look forward to seeing a lot of old faces um, down in Marilla at the end of October. Well, stop looking at me when you say old faces, mate. <laughs> we'll see you then. <laughs> no worries. Thanks, Thanks Brocky. Thanks, mate.